Hello folks, if you're new here and you haven't seen any of my videos yet, uh, I am a used parts dealer and uh, from time to time I do a motorcycle project, a flip project or a car one. And today we got one of the um, sad things uh, that um, you encounter as a used motorcycle dealer. So let's start off with the um, less sad, the least sad thing uh, that I have. This is just a crashed uh, Honda CBF 125. Uh, it runs, drives, starts, uh, everything like that. It's waiting for the customer that wants the engine out of it to listen to it. But the topic of today's video is uh, this 2015 Yamaha MT125. And the sad thing about this is uh, that uh, uh, the uh, little kid, he was a 16, um, that drove this bike, uh, somebody hit him and he didn't make it. So uh, that's, uh, that's the sad thing, uh, doing the, uh, the buying on the online auctions for these, uh, these bikes, that you never know how the owner uh, fired the crash and uh, this one here, yeah, well, it was uh, a fatal one. And it has to be a pretty good hit because the, I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up, but the frame, the frame is buckled and um, it's all, all twisted up and um, buckled to the side. So it had to be a hard impact. So um, uh, as you can see the front, uh, the front I just uh, plunked on there from a different bike so I can uh, move it freely around and uh, not to worry about uh, the damage from here uh, but what wasn't shown in the pictures uh, on the auction site was that this uh, uh, this cover here right here was cracked and uh, uh, the magneto was uh, was mangled so uh, we uh, overprayed on this bike but uh, all the money the, from this bike went to uh, the family of the uh, little boy he was a 16 as i said uh, by the time he passed away and uh, so yeah well it's it was like a little a little um a little bandage on their feelings again money money can't bring their son back but uh, you know they have at least uh, something um, to you know pay for some stuff so uh, i think Let's uh, do the last thing for the boy that I can do and that's uh, try to get his bike uh, up and running again. I don't know how long it's been uh, that uh, this happened, but uh, it's been sitting in my storage for some time. Uh, what I did uh, was that I took off the cover, I took off the, all the um, damaged stuff and I took the spark plug out and I spun the engine and the engine is spinning it's not locked up and uh, the issue that I had with this bike is uh, obviously the cover and uh, the uh, the magneto here and uh, the magneto you can't see it on the GoPro but you can see the wrinkles here and those wrinkles are from the impact and this magneto is not uh, straight anymore. So uh, we have um, we have the spare parts here from uh, the uh, magneto starter, uh, from the starter uh, clutch, I should say. Uh, we have the um, the bearing here, and we have uh, uh, like the starter um, gear here stuff like that so i went online and i for some time i couldn't find any replacements but uh, then in a foreign country i bought the magneto and also the cover it's uh, the cover is uh, as you can see it's uh, it's uh, silver not black but for the purposes that we are doing it uh, should suffice so uh, you can get rid of the box now and uh, we can start the process of uh, putting the magneto back together because in the, in the transport the uh, flywheel clutch the um, starter clutch uh, it, it fell apart so uh, we need to get it back and operational again 
All right, so let's um, flip them around. This one, as you can see, is still intact. Still, um, all the rollers are in there. So now let's unpack this uh, this one that we bought and see um, what exactly happened there and uh, clean it up a bit. Yeah, I can see one spring here already popped out and little little things popping out everywhere so let's see yeah we have yeah everything's gone out of it so we need to see if we can uh, get this uh, all back together or if we need to uh, get this uh, flywheel the, st the uh, I mean the flywheel uh, not the flywheel itself but the start clutch and as I can see yeah we do not have everything, yeah, something was lost during the transport, we are missing one of everything, one of these little rollers and one of these little inserts right here, so yeah, we need to transfer all that um, from our used one. Let's start with the incomplete one. Okay, let's get this uh, off, as you can see, we are missing everything, and now, we need some, um, we need some thread, thread lock, so let me get the thread lock, okay? So let's get the complete one. Sorry, you need to move. Okay, got it. Now, carefully. Yep, one already popped out. As you can see. This one already popped out and usually it's a little bit pain to get back. So I need a little screwdriver. And we need to get this um, back into its little happy place. Yep. As I said, this is usually pretty painful. Yep, there it is, and now gently set it up, nice, now let's get the thread log here, goop it up on here, and the other one. And the third one, like so. You don't need that anymore. Okay, and this, this can go in 
for shred steel. Okay, since we have the number five Allen here, let's um, let's lose this. Okay, that's we need to pop these these rubbers here and this which is um stuck by the thread log there. Yep, there it goes. We need the bolts, the rest. Is about a two, about a half a pound a pound of. Okay, so I applied a little bit of sealant on the bare spots, uh, let it set up before we uh, get the cover on. And so now let's uh, let's get the the flywheel on, and let's start with the frost washer here. Get it wiped down from the dust. Okay. The fast washer. Then the bearing. This uh, little wheel. I mean, this is the big wheel, and this is the Little wheel, maybe we need to get the little wheel in first. It meshed with the starter. Get this, get this in. Now maybe this. Get it meshed. I think so. That seems to be right. Now the woodroof key, the little woodroof key to the um, to the crank here, and now the flywheel itself. I forgot to wipe it down from the junk, because it's probably from engine that failed. So there is a lot of metal shavings in it. Let's get it wiped out and lined up. And hopefully... Yeah, I think we, we lost the woodroof key here. Yeah, turning the engine, but I don't think that is fully seated in there. Okay, so I don't have the torque specs for this because I couldn't find on the internet anywhere the torque specs. So we are going for the German spec, Guten Tight. Yeah, I think that's Guten Tight. It's pains, uh, doesn't seem to be the problem with the um, with the gaps or anything. So um, the next step here is to get the cover on. Let's start dress this thing this up. Add the rubber on top here. Add the Crankshaft position sensor here. Some junk here. Right. Now let's um 
get three long ones. Tighten this down. And by the way, this um, stator is smashed. Uh, I just need the uh, the pickup, the sensor to work. I don't care about the about the stator. We can run it without the charging system. Okay, now the moment of truth, will this fit, this is from the, this is from the uh, older model, seems like it, so let's get the, the bolts in. Okay, these three should be enough to see if that damaged coil is dragging on the magneto or not. So let's um, let's see. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think it does not. We can get the inspection cover back on. And um, get the rest of the bolts, uh, fill it with the engine oil, and then uh, the the biggest issue, the um, the electrical system, and that's gonna be a pretty one. Well, guys, it was really simple. The the uh, key switch is broken, as you can see. We have keys. We have four keys, and but the this is the remnants of the old forks the key switch is broken and it was easy as you can see it was easy just two wires now watch this uh, it's wrong switch oh is the yeah the wrong switch this is the the switch i need as you can see it cranks but we don't want to crank it um, just yet because um, we do not have any oil in it so let's pour some oil in it and um, then we can check for spark and um, if we have spark we can go from there okay so I've got some used motor oil here it's pretty black as you can see but uh, for engine that we don't know anything about and uh, we need to make some money and um, we'll pour this uh, used motor oil in just to test it it will not hurt it running it without the oil will hurt it for sure all right let's check it yeah we are right on the money now let's reconnect our key can hear the fuel pump if I can twist this one-handed yep let's take a spark plug here I don't know if this takes yeah it takes the regular style and now get the switch here and uh, let's crank it a bit yeah you do not have spark yeah, no spark cranks but no spark so um, let's check the fuses here real quick Let's get the test light here. 
And let's check the fuses. Okay, so these are the spares. Nothing we have. Yes, 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 and yes. So if the 20 here is not a spare, then um, then it's blown. So let's get the pliers. Let's get the pliers. Needle nose. Grab it. Yeah, and it's just a spare one. Okay. So this is okay. Hazard ABS saw ABS spare. Okay. How do I open this up here on this side? Yeah, the spares are on the right side. Okay. So let's go over this. Good, 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 good. This is the spare. Good, 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 good. Let's go over this one more time. Good. Good, 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 and good. This is the spares. So everything should be okay. But we do not have spark. We can probe the ECM here for um for the um for the twelve volts. But, um, yeah, maybe, maybe do st these two need to be connected also. So let's, uh, let's try that. Well, check it out. We got spark now. So, um, that means only one thing. And that is that we will, um, take the spark plug, put it back in. Mm cross our fingers. And yeah, it was these two wires that needed to be connected up also. All right, so we've got the spark plug back in and uh, well, it is the moment of truth here. So let's see. Are you ready? I am. Huh? Does not run. Hmm. Well, it runs now. It needed a prime. I don't know why, but it needed one. So it's running now. Uh, we do not have a cooling system, and um, that way we will be shining off. in just a minute here but um, I will let it run for a bit shut it off and set up a cooling system alright so now that we know it runs we need to take all the broken bits off that means uh, the, uh, the plastic on the tanks and the, uh, the front brake stuff here and mainly the broken radiator replace uh, it with uh, some other radiator get some coolant in it and uh, retest it because uh, we need to check um, it a little bit longer uh, make sure it's uh, it's okay it doesn't knock when it's hot and something like that so uh, let's get this uh, old scrap off I can hear you right now I can hear you right now saying that this is a uh, cobbled up mess that this is redneck engineering and uh, I shouldn't do this and stuff like that. I can hear that. I can hear that for miles. But guys, this, this is what will get us started. And this is what will get us running cooling. Uh, I don't have the um, radiator proper for this bike. I don't have uh, the uh, funds to uh, go and buy the proper radiator because why this thing will get parted out anyway this is just for uh, the purposes of uh, the 
testing here. So please, I know, I know. So I will let it run uh, behind the camera here and uh, let it warm up. See what will it will do uh, once warm up. I think it ran long enough, it's pretty hot and um, I think we did what we are came here to do and that was to revive uh, this little 125cc uh, bike and um, yeah I think that uh, the engine will be will be go good, what do you think? I think um, it uh, does not knock. I think that the little bit of knock on the idle, that's uh, I think normal, normal stuff. Um, so what do you think, if there's any afterlife, I think the uh, young fella is probably smiling at us uh, right now because, uh, yeah, well, uh, we gave his bike uh, at least the heart of it, the second chance uh, in life that he never got. So. Uh, I guess um, let's pray for him and uh, we'll wrap this thing today on uh, the good note. So um, this is it, the uh, little one MT, uh, 125 MT um, Yamaha, yeah well, it is what it is, we can save lives. In case we get safe engines. So, thanks for watching. Tell me no down in the comments what do you think about this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.